Hi, I'm James from Kanga Motorsports. Today we're going to talk about Datsun cylinder heads and how to modify the combustion chambers. To identify the cylinder head, look between spark plug ports 1 and 2. Here you can see this cylinder head is an N42. So look over the cylinder head, look at the various parts. You're going to check the chambers here and here. You always see a little bit of corrosion on these old heads, but you want to make sure that it's not rusting through and it's not getting into the chamber here. Now that we know the cylinder head is good, we can get started on performance modifications. Note here on the intake valve how the transition into the chamber is not very smooth. We'll address this. On the left hand side here you can see how the intake valve is shrouded by the chamber wall. This is also true for the exhaust valve on the right. There are also hot spots around the spark plug area that can lead to pre-ignition or detonation. What we want to do here is we want to smooth out the transition from the valve seat all the way into the chamber for both the intake and the exhaust valve. Then we want to unshroud the valves by removing additional material from the left and right hand of the chamber walls. Using an old head gasket to protect the cylinder head deck and also to mark the largest size of the cylinder ball, we can then go ahead and mark with a blue paint pen the material we want to remove and the transitions we want to smooth out. Use old valves to protect the valve seats, and then start using carbide burrs to remove material from the chamber cylinder walls to unshroud the valves. Smooth out the transitions and remove any hot spots such as the extra spark plug threads. When you're finished with the carbide burrs, inspect your work. Here you can see we've removed material from the left and right hand side of the chamber to unshroud the valves. We've also smoothed the transitions and removed additional spark plug threads. Next we want to smooth out the coarse cutting done by the carbide burrs using 80 grit flap wheels. We want to continue to smooth out the valve seat transitions. We also want to continue to smooth out the areas that we cut for the valve on shrouding. Then we progress to the 120 grit flap wheels. Here we again we've further smoothed out the valve seat transitions and smoothed out all the transitions within the chamber. Following that we shift up to finishing buffs at 180 grit, 220 grit, and 320 grit. Each time we're working in the chamber, we use old valves to protect the valve seats. We've also ground down the valves to provide greater access and to smooth out the valve seat transitions further. Next, we further smooth out the valve seat transitions and also the area around the unshredded valves by using successive 400 and 600 grits, either wet dry sandpaper or 3M radial bristle discs. The final stage is polishing the chamber. I use felt wheels combined with white rouge doing successive perpendicular passes to get the bright shiny finish you see here. We smoothed out all these areas here and reduced all the sharp points. We smoothed out all in here but you can see see in here all the transitions are smoothed out. We've also yeah, it's hard to see here but we've also unshrouded the valves here and then smoothed the transition and blended that transition there. We ground these valves down, and so these valves are ground down and give me a lot more easier area so I can access in these here without damaging the valve seats. So protect the valve seats and I could smooth these areas in here. As you can see these valves are also being polished when I was polishing these chambers. But to add the valve list now, we have smooth transitional flow. We've also unshrouded the side here and unshrouded the side here.